All right, and without further ado, we'll just directly go into the closing session. All right. Um, maybe as a summary, competitions for next year. Um, so the auto survey um, competition is going to be continued. AlgoPerif is likely going to be in Europe's competition. Lightweight NAS has moved to AutoML from CVPR. We talked a little bit about other competitions, the grand challenge in, in the panel earlier. Um, there, uh, yeah, there was this question about this grand challenge, risk haggle, and so on. And um, there was sort of dismissed that it's not a grand challenge because we need even more. But we talked a lot more with, with Andreas and others. Um, afterwards, it is, while it's not the grand challenge, the moonshot project, the North Star um, to shoot for, it is definitely a very good first step because there is a lot more that needs to be done um, that is not covered by, for example, AutoML um, Open Benchmark, such as textual descriptions of the tasks, um, columns, target, etc., feature engineering. Um, if you can do that, that that's going to move the needle a bit. It doesn't move it fully to automated data, data science, but moves it. Um, another possible competition um, that could run in parallel is on relational data, not dealing with all these uh, textual descriptions of the task, but just um, dealing with the orthogonal dimensions of, well, let's not just have a single table, but a set of tables. Um, and then also feature engineering across, data, uh, across tables, uh, not data sets. Um, and causal relationships is probably too hard for the next year, but it's definitely part of this grand challenge that, that we want to get. And so um, like the, the first and the second might run in parallel next year and afterwards um, join to, to really move us um, closer to this grand challenge. All right, um, that was to wrap up competitions. Now, let's close the conference. Thank you, a uh, big thank you from all the chairs. Um, yeah, it, it's been a blast and, and there's a, um, and not everybody here is going to be on, on stage uh, right now, so um, actually let, let's, uh, let's give everybody a hand from, from the Orga team except me. But I, thank you all to my co-organizers. <laughs> all right, um, so this is the second time we had the AutoML conference. Um, as a reminder, we founded last year following eight years of AutoML workshops at ICML, et cetera, BASOP, Meta Learning, uh, NAS workshops, and AutoML is now the overarching conference for all of these. But this does not mean that you should stop organizing workshops at these conferences. In, in contrast, we really encourage this. This is not something that's in competition with us or anything. It's really in our interest. We go to these conferences. They're amazing conferences. And we'd love to meet you there. So it's, re it's really good to have an AutoML workshop at ICML I, I'm not going to organize it uh, probably for the foreseeable future because I've done so eight times, but it'd be great to have uh, new blood there. Uh, to have meta learning workshops, we will um, probably continue that. Um, NAS workshops, other workshops we're thinking about in context learning workshop at iClear. Um, so this is really something that uh, we strongly encourage and that, that is synergetic with the conference. So please go ahead and do that. Um, as a reminder, what, what is new this year, so we did this industry day, we, we're really embracing hybrid participation, we did the ABCD track, reproducibility reviews so were really fully um, executed this time, and for the journal track, we have this collaboration with TMLR. And the AutoML conference is now really fully established. Here's the updated numbers. We have 320 registered participants, 180 in person, and 120 online. What? No, 140 on it. I apologize. It, this is 140. It went up. <laughs> All right, I'm fixing my mass online. I, the total number is 320. I only counted 180, and then uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm like ChatGPT. What can I do? Um, so, anyways, after two years of, of uh, as general chair. Um, I'm thrilled uh, about what we have achieved as a community. I couldn't have done that without anyone. And I'm, I'm really happy to pass on the torch to our new general chair, Marius Lindauer. This is a representative torch. <laughs> Here you go. I think we really need an autumn air duck or, yeah. or some, some, something else, a bear <laughs> or tiger or we also need some kind of animal next year. Yeah, also for our online experience chair, Andre. Andre works on dynamic algorithm configuration. Doug. Yep. So. Awesome. Um, so thank you very much, Frank, for really doing that for two years. He was really easy putting all his energy and time into it to make that possible. 
Uh, so I think he really earns an additional applause again for, for doing that. So um, now it's a bit up to me, at least next year. Let's see what, what will happen. Uh, Frank teased that already at the opening. So we go to Paris next year. I think it's an awesome place. It's the city of love, and at the same time has an awesome historic background in doing science. Right? Many great persons there. I think it's also one of the best places actually in Europe to do uh, research. Um, which is very great that we have actually also an awesome partner at the Sorbonne University, Carola Dürer, and her team is actually doing that as local chairs, and we already fixed the rooms, we already have the dates, so I hope I will see you all again, and maybe many more, on September 9th to 12th. Um, also, the website is already running, you can go there directly, um, of course there's not too much to see there, um, other than date, and that's an awesome place, right? Um, but of course, we have also um, tried to send the first team members for running that next year. So I'm very happy that I found already three awesome PC shares for next year. Uh, we have Katharina Eggensberger being that next year. Um, we have Roman Garnett. Is he still here? Roman? Not here anymore. It's a bit, you have seen it already, right? Um, I'm very happy that he will continue doing that next year. So more as everything we learned from this year, we can really transfer, maybe even make it a bit better. And uh, Joaquin is also not here anymore because his, um, his son uh, had birth, I think, tomorrow. So he had to leave, um, also unfortunately. But he will also complement that and really having or required some expertise. As I said, we already have Carola Dörr as a local chair, Alexander Tornede next year as journal chair, Andre Bienkamp again will be part of the online experience share team, Matthias Feuer will do the uh, tutorials, with Elena and Anja, we have awesome social shares, and then I'd also, uh, I was very happy that you agreed to continue being in charge of visibility, which is of course at the heart of this conference. Uh, we would like to continue with that. Of course, there can be maybe, yes, <laughs> applause for all of them. Um, of course, that won't be the entire team, so I'm looking for even more team members. If you'd like to be involved there, talk with me. Um, you have seen these slides beforehand. We need a large team, actually, to make it possible to really um, give you the best experience at that conference, and we are always happy to have more hands for that. Um, yes, maybe some um, teasers already what we're planning for. The submission deadline will be a bit earlier than this year. So this year we had at end of March, most likely we're going to something like end of February, maybe beginning of March, roughly three, four weeks earlier. Um, of course, we will have again decisions before the New Europe submission, so there will, won't be any conflict with that. Hopefully we have the call for papers out before the end of this year, um, so that you already know what you can plan for. Mode, of course, we are also looking how we can embrace a hybrid format again. I think it was a very nice experience we did this year. Most likely we can't do it exactly like this year, but we're still trying to figure that out. Depends a bit on your feedback also, whether you liked it or whether you have ideas on how to improve it. We collected already some feedback and talking to some of you, but of course, having more input to that would be very helpful because I think it was very good, but it was definitely not optimal. Um, yes, um, open source will be um, nevertheless mandatory. It will be reproducibility, uh, with that of course be at the heart of the conference. Of course, we also will continue with main ABCD track and workshop tracks, and maybe even more. So we have some crazy ideas already, and let's see what we're doing. But maybe to teaser that also a bit, um, I would like to ruin your mood now a bit, because um, I also wondered a bit what, what's next, and not only talking about large language models. It's, it's super important, definitely. We should do much more on large language models and AutoML. But maybe it's not the only thing we should care about. Um, and I'm personally very concerned about what's happening right now. I'm not talking about war, but we're talking about the other thing. 
Let's talk about the climate crisis. Um, this summer was most likely one of the hottest summers where humans ever lived in. Um, we had ocean temperature. are really on the urge of, of being completely flooded forever sometimes. Um, on the other hand, Canada was burning this year quite a bit, uh, large parts of it, and it seems to be getting more and more of these extreme weather conditions. Um, so more or less, I think nearly all researchers agree on that, we have a problem, a big one. And it's not something which will happen in a few years, it's more as happening now. And I personally really strongly believe that with all what is going on right now, it's also our responsibility to act on that. Also as a community, we are always, the people are saying, we need a lot of compute power, right? AutoML is not quite cheap, more as we're trying to replace the human expert knowledge by very efficient algorithms. That's not all of that, right? We have to think about how to make AutumL more efficient. We have to think about how to make the models more efficient. We have to think about application side. I know that many of you are doing that already, but now starting to do that with a mindset on how we can fight climate change, I think will be a new level, a new challenge for this community, and I would like to address that also next year at the conference even more than ever. Yes, uh, now going back to the good Parts, right? um, I hope that I can now um, activate you again a bit more on the positive side. Um, increasing visibility. As I said already on Wednesday morning, that conference is growing. We have seen, as Frank told us, more as we doubled more or less compared to last year. Maybe we will again increase quite a bit for next year. Let's see that. But what is really important that you talk about that conference to make that visible, right? It, as it's impossible that I'm doing that or Frank is doing that alone, right? We really need you doing that, right? Talk to your colleagues, talk to your friends, whoever you're meeting, tell them how awesome that conference is. If you think that conference was not awesome, please talk to us directly, right? Don't, don't tell anyone. Um, as, as always, right, with, with feedback, right? Uh, talk about the positive things and the negatives only privately. Um, what we had already achieved from last year that we are listed now in DBLP and Google Scholar, so it should be visible already now, your papers, at least for me it was the case. Uh, nevertheless, the next big challenge will be, of course, getting a core ranking. As now that's for some of your careers, it's fairly important, but we have to work on that, right? We have to show to everyone that that's here top conference, simply. And uh, simply talking about it on Twitter, X, LinkedIn, Reddit, YouTube, what not, will help and contribute to that, right? Make it visible, what we are doing here. Um, because of that, we had actually the social media challenge, um, and the winner today at noon was actually, not very surprisingly, Joachim van Schoren. He had very awesome notes uh, about the keynotes. That was the talk by, by Michaela, actually, but also his other uh, tweets were also quite uh, famous, so with 32 likes and three reposts, uh, he won that clearly. He's unfortunately not here, but I was told that one of his team members can take that. So who is going to represent? Joaquin and get that. So he told me you can, you can eat it and simply share that with anyone from your crew. So congratulations and so. <laughs> So, so with a miss, merci, like French, right? I'm saying thank you, actually, to contributing to that by Joaquin and, and helping us to make it more visible. Nevertheless, I was thinking that was maybe not the best metric to optimize here. Joaquin has many followers. He has not a uh, subscription on Twitter, but nevertheless, he is already fairly famous. So maybe it was not quite fair. So I was thinking about having a committee and deciding what else was very awesome that was posted. And I found a very great committee uh, with one member, actually, and he is an awesome guy, and that was me. Um, <laughs> so and I decided simply on two more, which I really liked the both. Uh, going to Lukas Fering, posting about his mood after two days on the conference. So that's why he was feeling already on Wednesday. 
uh, on for Anna jumping very nicely. So I have also two small messages for you too, so you can get it later also, yeah? Um, thank you very much. Good. Yes, and then it's Frank again, right? And if you would like to know more about 20, uh, 2022, uh, <laughs> Long week. I would also like to talk, right? Uh, that's what I would like to talk about next year with Pete. Definitely come to me and write me happy with whatever. You should be easy to find me. All right. Thank you, Mario. So, uh, so um, yeah, you haven't gotten rid of me fully. Um, I, I'm just going to wrap up. Uh, a big thank you to our sponsors. We couldn't do this without our sponsors. So, I, I really want to emphasize this. Uh, all of the sponsors uh, are, are greatly appreciated. We had a, a variety of measures that we couldn't have had otherwise. We had volunteers that were free. Um, we had some travel awards for underrepresented groups. We had, um, yeah, actually a really cheap uh, registration cost. Um, I was at KDD for one day and I paid $450. So here the entire conference, including uh, catered lunches and the dinner boat cruise, etc., was early bird pricing 400. Um, we could never do something like that uh, without the sponsors. So uh, please, let's uh, join me in giving them a backhand. And uh, directly going into sponsors for next year. <laughs> so we couldn't do this without you. Um, if, uh, if you are um, a company that has sponsored, would like to sponsor again, please talk to me. If you're a company that hasn't sponsored and would like to sponsor, please talk to me. Um, if you're an academic with industrial collaborations, uh, maybe talk to them about, well, maybe they would like to sponsor, get involved. So it's not only about sponsoring, it's also about involvement. That's why we have the Industry Day. I think it really helped in bringing industry and academia and automail closer together. Um, from the industrial partners, I would be very interested in what they would actually like to get out of it. So we offered them um, to put a booth. Uh, nobody actually took that option. Um, maybe there's other things that, that you would really like, and uh, please let me know. So I, I might be in a role of industry chair or sponsorship chair, or maybe competitions we'll see, some, some minor role. I'll let Marius run, run the show because I, I know it's in good hands there. But I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can to, to help, but uh, uh, directed by Marius. But in terms of sponsoring, uh, yeah, please, please let me know. Um, yeah, then a couple of things. What's next in AutoML? other than the AutoML conference next year. Um, in order to stay up to date, if you haven't yet, please join the Discord channel. Um, the link's also in the email that I sent last week. Um, we will do one more thing of this conference, and that is like last year, we will have a post-conference online poster session. Why? Because while we have had a very active online participation and active in-person participation, there hasn't really been the possibility for these two sets of people to mingle and to, they, they've met each other maybe occasionally at a poster, but they couldn't step aside and have a chat. And so in this gather town, they will be able to do that. Um, of course, if you had a poster, it's going to be some more attention to your posters. Um, I personally was running around and didn't get to every poster, so I'm really looking forward to this. But um, there can also be, if you had uh, really interesting connections you made this week and you thought about, hey, let's do something together, you can think about it for a week and then actually meet again and have a, another couple of chats and uh, maybe start a concrete collaboration. So this will be in a week from now, um, actually right now, like two hours ago until in one hour, so 4 to 7 p.m. Berlin time, if I didn't do the math wrong. Yeah. Um, we're same gather town as for the conference. Um, if you don't know where that is, um, it's on the website or in the email I sent last week. There's other things. Uh, there's the AutoML Fall School, um, where um, yeah, there, there's um, several invited speakers. Um, this is more for students. You could send your master's students, or, or if you're relatively new to the field, you could also think about attending um, yourself in order to just learn more about the basics, more tutorial style, but also invited keynotes and so on. Um, there, there's lots of actual hands-on tutorials. We actually code and so on. Um, it's a great opportunity. This is in November in Munich. And uh, yeah, you could, for example, talk to Matthias Feurer about this. Um, maybe Matthias, get up and, and wave so people see you. All right. 
So he's a, one of the local organizers. And then the Ottermel seminar, uh, Marius wanted to say, uh, Marius. <laughs> Aaron wanted to say a few things. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I'm Aaron, I'm the local chair. I think you all had, I hope you all had a great time here. For, hope not too many of you got lost in some Berlin nightclub. I know that some of you did. I know some of you did, sir. So, okay. So if, you're, if you couldn't get enough AutoML, um, so I want to quickly pitch the AutoML seminar. It's a platform to learn and discuss recent work on automated machine learning. We run this uh, regular online reading group on Zoom uh, with talks from, from the AutoML community. And uh, we put particular emphasis for, for junior scientists that though they can present their work. If you are one of those uh, inspiring junior scientists, reach out to us. We're always looking for, for speakers. Yeah, you can find the schedule on our website. Um, uh, in the spirit of this conference here, so the next talks will be AutoML for ML, uh, sorry, AutoML for large language models and large language models for AutoML. Uh, yeah, please do follow us on Twitter so you don't miss out on any talks. Um, it's super difficult to find a time that, you know, where everybody can join, so that's why I put almost all of our video, uh, talks on YouTube. So please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so we will go for Holzmark later. That's a, a place in, in the city, center of Berlin. I'll put the directions on Discord. It will be at eight, roughly at 30, so you have some time to, to go for dinner. I heard that Xavier is still looking for dinner mates, so <laughs> reach out to him. Um, yeah, I also heard that ABBA is organizing a trip to some techno club in Berlin, so if you want to get lost, this is the last opportunity, so reach out to ABBA. Um, yeah, or reach out to Jovita and Rea if you want to you go, uh, don't want to go alone there. So yeah, with that, thanks, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, uh, maybe one, one more thing about the AutoML seminar. This is organized by Ellis, uh, by the Ellis unit from um, Berlin and Freiburg. It runs Thursday at 5 p.m. German time. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah. to 5 p.m. Um, German time. If you're on the uh, West Coast, you have to get up early. Everything is on um, schedule, so you yeah. can find it. Yeah, but um, it, it's bi-weekly. There have been like 50 recorded talks already, so this is really something that... Oh, 30? Um, 30. 30? It's been running for two years every second week, so... 30 talks, but you have 50. Yeah, okay. yeah, ah, 30 recorded, 50 talks. The, the first 20 we didn't record. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, this is an active community where you just keep in touch with the, um, with the community. And the final item of today is uh, we would love to ask for your feedback. So uh, we have an exit survey. It should uh, take less than 10 minutes to fill out. Um, and please do fill it out, because this is super valuable information for next year's chairs um, to make some decisions. If you really didn't like some program um, item, tell us right now. Uh, that's the information we use for setting up next year's program. So tinyurl.com, automl 23 minus exit, or the QR code. And all right. With that, uh, let me remind you, Holzmark tonight. Um, directions are in Discord in the general channel or as an announcement. Um, Holzmark is also not that big. So, um, well, I was told yesterday that you can use go there and find us. But if not, then. No, you can find us there, so we'll be somewhere by the river. And again, cash. You need cash. Uh, yeah, all right, good. If you don't have cash, borrow cash from yeah, someone. <laughs> good. All right, with that, thank you all very much. Uh, see you again next year. <laughs>